I want to talk to you about post-traumatic stress disorder and introduce you to a very brave man who has agreed to tell us his story. One of the things I didn't know about this illness is that it can take years to strike. So you go through a trauma. You think you're fine. And then years later, your world falls to pieces. And that's terrifying for you and for the people who love you. I knew quite early on that Tanya was someone special and that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. I've got two beautiful boys and I love my family to pieces and there's nothing I won't do for them. We both had good jobs, got a house, a mortgage. And something just snapped. In 1992, Paul joined the Army Catering Corps and at just 19 years old, he was sent out to Bosnia. We were coming across completely abandoned and blown apart villages. We were finding corpses, pulling bodies out of the river. It was just horrible. In 1999, Paul left the army. He got married, started a family, and settled into life back at home. Ten years down the line, the effects of what Paul had witnessed as a young soldier changed his life forever. I was having flashbacks, anxiety attacks, Every time I stepped out of my front door, I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to come across um, corpses. I was going to have that smell all the time. So I'd be sick. I'd be throwing up. I'd run away. I'd run back in and slam the door. I just couldn't do it. Paul became so traumatized, he left his job and didn't leave his house for nine months. I had to film Thomas's first Christmas play because Paul couldn't cope with the crowds. And when a child is looking into the crowd and trying to find their parents, they see me, but they didn't see Daddy. I wasn't a husband or a father at all during that time because I thought I was worthless. I didn't see the point in me being involved as part of the family. He told me um, that he'd plan to commit suicide. And you always think that if, if I had picked it up earlier, we may have not gone through half of what we've gone through. Sorry. Paul's wife contacted Combat Stress, a project supported by Sport Relief that offers care and treatment to veterans of the British Armed Forces. Paul was diagnosed with severe, complex, post-traumatic stress. Carol is one of the mental health nurses who helped veterans through a terrifying time. The Paul you see now is so far removed from the Paul that we saw walking through those gates two, two and a half years before. I haven't, thankfully, for about 18 months been on any medication. I'm back in full-time employment. He's amazing and he has worked so hard and that's why he is where he is. I have bad days but I know now how to control them. He's not afraid anymore. He's not having panic attacks um, and the boys have got their dad back. Come on in, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Now actually being able to go out and actually kick a ball around with my boys and my wife, I feel happy about life again. For veterans like Paul, the battle doesn't end when they come home. But tonight, you can help them and their families. Without combat stress, um, I would not be here. Um, and I can't thank them enough. Please call 03457 910 910. Thank you.